Hey gang, it's just me, Ghetto Mama. Your girl don't feel good tonight. You know what? Last night, I coughed and I coughed and I coughed almost all night. I don't know what's going on. I usually don't get sick. I don't know if I have a cold or if I have allergies or what's going on. I'm trying to turn on a light on over here. Yeah, that's a little bit better, I think. Maybe trying to balance stuff out. Anyway, because I'm so lazy today and don't feel good. I'm just having a regular old dinner. And yesterday I made baked chicken for my family. There's a piece of baked chicken. I have some mashed potatoes. And this here is what I call ancha burrito casserole. It's made with frozen burritos and green enchilada sauce or red enchilada sauce, whichever one you choose. Whatever kind of burritos you like that are frozen. You put them in a pan, you pour enchilada sauce over them, put all kinds of cheese and some rotel or some fresh tomatoes or chopped, you know, and some chopped onions on the top of it for garnishment. It's really good. And I made um, baked carrots with the chicken. You know, in a way, I'm kind of thinking that I have allergies because I got this mask thing going on and, oh no, I don't ever really get a cold. I haven't had a cold in a long time. So it could be allergies because <clears throat> it's been kind of warm here the last few days. And the tree pollen is up. And I get hay fever really, really bad. So, that's what it could be. There's no evidence of it being any science, science infection. as a sinus infection. No evidence of that. Just an itchy throat. My eyes are itchy watery a little bit of you know runny nose not really too much so yeah I took some NyQuil today to try to calm my cough down it's been kicking my butt. I've been so tired. Gristle. I can't eat gristle. I don't, I don't know how some of you chomp down on gristle. I can't do it. Anyway, this is a chicken thigh. This was baked in the oven. I put, um, Chef Tony Creo seasoning on it. Mm. Let's see what else did I put on it. A little bit of taco seasoning. Um, some of this other seasoning. It's got onions and peppers and stuff like that. Some of that kind of seasoning. Some real pepper. I just baked it. It's good. I was going to um, tear it off the bone and make noodles, you know, like chicken and noodles, but I didn't do that tonight because I seen I had all this, these potatoes in the fridge and the rest of this burrito casserole. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm not doing that. And you know what the beverage is. Cheers. YouTube has been slow over the weekend. I don't know if it's because the weather's been nice. Nobody's pumping out any videos. Or what. 
I've seen some videos over the weekend from you all. They're pretty good. But some of the other channels that don't do the mukbangs, there's just no videos. And I'm going like, where'd y'all go? What are you doing? Oh my god. This is chicken skin. I know, I seem to enjoy all the bad parts. I am hungry though, so that's a good sign. Bad sign though for tomorrow's weigh-in. Because I'm having these potatoes and the burrito. I don't know. Oh well. Could be worse though. I think because I took that cold medicine, <coughs> it's like the fake NyQuil, the Equate. I think that's, and me being tired, I think that's why I don't care about, um, I think this is a crystal. Tippy, tippy. I think that's why I don't care about <laughs> being good. I just want to eat supper. I'll wash my dish and be done with it. I don't know what I'm going to cook. I hopefully I'll be out of leftovers tonight. So then tomorrow I can start making something different. Which I was kind of thinking about making um, unstuffed cabbage rolls. Googie, stop. That's just, you know, when you do that, you, you brown some ground beef and season it all up. And then you put it into a, um, well, you have to drain the grease off of it, and put it into a stock pot. Or a Dutch oven, whatever you have, whatever you call it. And then you start... Adding like tomatoes, like canned tomatoes, maybe canned tomato sauce. Cabbage. Maybe a few potatoes sliced up. It's just like eating a cabbage roll, only all screwed up, you know, like in a bowl. Or you can make it as runny as you want. You can make it like a soup. You can do that too. That sounds good. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. I don't know. But then again, I want hot dogs. Something stupid to want, but I want hot dogs. I'll make the family um, macaroni and cheese. And we'll have hot dogs, but I won't have the macaroni. I'll just have hot dogs. Or maybe I'll do breakfast for supper. I don't know. I am getting full. I think I'm getting full because... Anymore, I don't eat like regular food the family eats. So I think in my head, I'm going like, I shouldn't be eating this. So my mind's going, uh, maybe you're just full, back off, don't eat.
You know, I've been seeing a lot of YouTube um, channels over the weekend talking about their videos aren't being monetized anymore. You know, and they have to have a thousand subscribers and like so many minutes of views. Well, if it's a brand new video and you post it, you're not going to have a thousand views right off. So I need to look into this. I cause I don't know. I don't know what some of these some of these people mean. I know that you have to have so much of something. That's why I'm not monetized. Cause I'm just plain not ready yet. And I watch Roman Atwood. I don't know if any of you guys know who he is or whatever. I watch his channel. And he's going to stop daily vlogging, so... <laughs> I don't know. Everybody's going to Switch or Twitch TV. But I guess you have to have a pretty good audience to go to that because... It's like a TV show. I mean, I don't know what all the particulars are for that. So I think YouTube's just becoming dead. Everybody was saying how um, all the important people, like Casey Neinstadt and... Um, Tim Smoyer and people like that. I call them the important people because Casey's really popular and Tim Smoyer does all this YouTube stuff. They were talking about how YouTube um, are weeding out the bad channels and the riffraff. Because you have to admit, some of the stuff that is on YouTube is not worth watching. A lot of it is not advertiser friendly. I don't know, I think the mukbangs will turn out to be advertiser friendly because we're doing food. And you know, like our recipes and stuff, you know, when we describe our food, it gives people a chance to um, get ideas, you know, like these frozen burritos. Because I said they're frozen burritos, maybe somebody will go out and buy some frozen burritos. I just didn't mention what brand because I don't really remember what brand. So, you know, to me, I would consider that being advertiser friendly and I mentioned Rotel well that's a brand so maybe Rotel and frozen burritos would say oh this is good cool and then back up as a sponsor so I don't know I don't know how it would work but there's just got to be a little bit of balance in all this because I, I I really can't believe that Some of the people that have all these different videos and stuff, and they don't, well, they might not have a thousand subscribers, but they'll have all these videos. How would they not um, be able to monetize? I don't know, a lot of you have like a lot of videos, a lot of views, but then maybe your subscriber count is real low. So it beats me. I don't know. I thought to ponder, but I'm not going to quit on YouTube over that. Heck, I'm not getting paid for this crap anyway. I do this because 
well, I shouldn't really say it's because of this, but I have depression. And this is a creative outlet to, you know, be able to, like, be on YouTube and make friends. And, you know, there's so many of you guys that I've really, I feel like I've made friends with. I mean, some of you came, became my Facebook buddy. I don't know, it's just, it's just been really nice. But I don't really get trolls. I had a few there for a few days, but when I told them they, they're adding value to my channel, they just kind of stop. So. <laughs> so there you go. I don't care. But anyway, don't get up on the on the YouTube if your channel was making money. Then all of a sudden it hasn't. Because another thing is when you're um, being creative, you know, and even if you're not getting paid for it, being creative is a cool thing to do. Hmm. The light right there. And like a, a lot of um, YouTube video people that I've watched on YouTube for, you know, how to make your channels great. They said, don't be in it if you think you're going to make money. Be in it because you love being creative and it's something for you to do. So, there you go. Oh, I'm so full. And see what I just have food? Guess what? I have a sweet tooth now. Because it's a damn carbs. The carbs are telling me, hey, there's sweets in the house. Go get some sweets. And my mind's going, no, no. I can't have any sweets. Like this little bite of mashed potatoes. It might not be a big deal to you. It's a very big deal to me. And I'm not eating it. And look at the temptation sitting beside me. My son had bought some cookies. This was like, this is two weeks ago, cookies. This cookie's probably still, but it's peanut butter cookies. And it has Reese pieces on it. And there's one cookie left. That's my big son's pack of cookies. And I know how his mind thinks. He'll say, oh, it's not fresh no more, and he'll want to throw it away. Googie. And I'll go, Hmm, waste not, what not, I'll eat it, but I'm not going to eat it. And I already feel a stomach ache coming on. I just, I didn't even have salad today. I just, what did I have today for lunch? Oh, I had leftover scrambled eggs and a few little potatoes. That's what I had today. A chicken in my tooth. Anyway, um... Yeah, so I'm going to take off and um, wash my dish, have some diet soda for my um, for my sweets after the meal. Look, you can tell I'm tired because when I get tired and I don't feel good, my face gets all wrinkly. So anyway, I got that tired face. All right, gang. I hope you're feeling better than I am, and I will see you next month, bang. Thanks.